Right. Sorry for the delay, everybody. And if you want to know where this is, this is a great tool. I think it's on your replicated site when you go under nutrition, under ketone zone, and you go to this website. Oh, man, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Um, and then you scroll down. It's this second video. You see the big play on the first one, but it's actually the science video. I'd like to share one. I just had it buffered, so I hope it buffers quick enough. I apologize for that. Here we go, everybody. The greatest breakthroughs in human performance. I'm Dr. Omar Hamada. I've spent 10 years with the United States Army Special Forces as a flight surgeon and diving medical officer. And now I'm a sports medicine and emergency medicine physician, where optimum physical and mental performance is equally imperative. I'd like to introduce you to Ketone Zone, a great tasting performance enhancing super fuel for your energy and mental clarity. Ketone Zone is the most advanced bioidentical ketone formula available. It's groundbreaking because it provides the exact same form of ketone your body naturally makes and recognizes. During ketosis, your body efficiently uses an alternative fuel, ketones, a water-soluble, fat-derived energy metabolite. Science validates that ketones are a cleaner, more efficient fuel source for mental and sustained physical performance. The ketone zone breakthrough is that it contains only the type of ketone humans naturally make and assimilate very well. 100% bioidentical ketones. Seems logical, right? Unfortunately, almost all previous ketone supplements utilize a mixture of two forms of ketones. The bioidentical ketones your body makes and non-bioidentical ketones that your body doesn't make. Think about it this way. The two forms of ketones are mirror images of each other, like your right and your left hands. See, they look the same, but they're different when you superimpose them over one another. The bioactive form, say your right hand, fits perfectly into the ketone receptor, but your left hand does not, and it actually can block the receptor site and not allow the right-handed ketone from working. With Ketone Zone, all the ketones are the right kind and can fit precisely. All the ketones work to create a healthy ketogenic state quickly and easily. It's simply a smarter, better, more effective ketone form. Scientific studies show that the D-form, or the right-handed form of BHB in ketone zone, increases the degree of ketogenesis and bioavailability by almost 10 times, meaning a significant breakthrough in effectiveness and value. Because ketone zone contains exclusively 100% bioactive ketones, you are able to on-ramp into a healthy ketogenic state faster, easier, and more cost-effective. This means that you will enjoy more energy and clearer thoughts quickly and without dehydrating stimulants or energy crashes, such as with caffeinated drinks or sugar drinks. Check out this BHB meter. It measures ketones in the bloodstream. I'll do a fast test here. Currently, my blood BHB level is 0.3 millimeters per deciliter. I'll take a keto zone and test again in 20 minutes. Dr. Hamada drinks that fast, just so you know. <laughs> All right, it's been 20 minutes. Now let's see where we're at. Awesome. It's 1.6. What just happened is that I moved into a healthy ketosis state in only 20 minutes versus eight days of agonizing, dieting, or starving myself. The science and benefits of exogenous ketones is constantly evolving, and Valara is on the leading edge of wellness technologies. Ketone Zone is proven to assist your body into a healthy state of ketosis. Utilize this super fuel to be on point physically and mentally in just a matter of minutes. Fasting and dietary modifications may be optionally used, but are certainly not required. Ketone Zone is a recommended complement to a healthy, low-carbohydrate lifestyle. Hey, thank you, uh, Robia, and thank you, Dr. Hamada. Question, Dr. Hamada. I know that because of my background in CBD, that there is cannabinoid receptors. It sounds like there's 
ketone receptors also. Could you explain that a little bit, sir? Well, yeah, cell membranes have receptors that actually dock different molecules that affect what happens inside the cell. So it can either, these receptors all differ. They can either grab the molecule and pull it into the cell, or the molecule can attach to the receptor and cause a chemical reaction on the inside of the cell because of that attachment that then generates um, uh, basically a chemical reaction that, that pushes towards a certain result like energy production or what have you. So whether, you know, the cannabinoids um, receptors will help with pain control and some other things, um, ketone receptors actually um, help pull the ketones in to be used for fuel. Glucose is transported a little bit differently, fat a little bit differently, proteins a little bit differently, but they're all pulled into the cell in order to be used for different types of fuel sources. Nice. Um, when I saw the meter that you used, um, I got really excited about it, and I bought like a hundred of them and started <laughs> getting into certain key distributors. And um, I can remember, Dr. Hamada, I was in a hotel room, and I tested my ketones, and I tested my blood sugar because the meter does both of those. Mm -hmm. And my, my blood sugar was like more than it should be, like 200 or something like that because I am diabetic. And when I took the ketone zone, Dr. Hamada, two completely opposite different things happened. Number one, my blood sugar dropped down to a healthy level of about 100, and my ketones went up like yours did there to about 1.5. And it was like, whoa, this is like living proof. I could see actually what was happening inside my body. Pretty cool stuff, sir. Fantastic. That's excellent. You know, um, Ketones are an amazing product, and um, tonight is going to be amazing. So every week, I think we just get better and better. What I want to do tonight is actually share my screen because I have several diagrams that I want to share with you guys. Uh, Robia, is that okay if I do that here? Yes, sir. You should be able to. Fantastic. All right. Can you guys see this? We can. All right. Fantastic. So as I was looking, you know, I wanted to find, there's so many research papers on ketosis and ketones and exogenous and endogenous ketones, and people get confused with what all that means. Uh, nutritional ketosis versus the dangerous type of ketosis that we kind of discussed a little bit last week. What I want to do this week is try to share with you guys and clarify a little bit about how our body uses the different types of fuel. So there are really five types of fuel that it uses, as we all know, the, you know, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, ketones, and alcohol. There are more, but those are the primary ones. Really, the top three that we, that most people are familiar with are, you know, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Ketones are a byproduct of fat metabolism. Carbohydrates, glucose, if you think about making a fire, um, you know, the carbohydrates are like a kindling. Um, the body uses those really quickly, and it causes us to constantly want more and more and more, and usually the simple carbs that are so addictive that we eat and feel energetic, but then start feeling sick because we get such a big crash with it. The other thing that eating those simple carbohydrates does is it elevates our insulin levels, and insulin mimics growth hormone, and it's impossible to lose weight or start burning fat as long as insulin is in a high state, or if your pancreas is pumping out a lot of insulin, or if you're diabetic using high levels of insulin and you're overweight, it's almost impossible to lose weight because of the growth hormone-like activity of insulin. The other thing insulin does, even when it's uh, generated or pumped out from our pancreas, from the islet cells, um, what happens is um, it also causes uh, some chronic inflammation to start occurring. And with chronic inflammation, we've been over this before, you know, the acute uh, short-term inflammation is necessary uh, for proper bodily functioning and healing and things like that. But it's the chronic inflammation that gets us into trouble. And if you have a, a chronically high insulin state because of a high-carbohydrate diet, you're going to be chronically inflamed. And that's going to cause all sorts of problems with gut health, with joint pains, with difficulty losing weight, with cardiovascular disease, with 
cerebrovascular disease, with um, potential cancer-like states. So we want to try to get out of that uh, chronic inflammatory response. We want to get out of that chronically high insulin state that mimics growth hormone that prevents um, fat burning. And we try to shift to more of a ketotic state for health. Um, and later, I'm going to show you a graph that's really going to blow your mind with regards to all the benefits of ketotic diets or ketogenic diets. Um, but before we get there, I want to go through a few other things to sort of build into that. Um, so one thing we recommend is uh, something that many of you have heard and some of you may be doing already, and that's intermittent fasting. We're basically closing that insulin window so that you're only um, – eating or digesting foods a few hours a day. Instead of grazing for 24 hours or however long you're awake, let's say 18 hours, uh, and constantly feeding your body, um, we want to, to close that window where insulin, is, uh, insulin release is minimized and its effects are minimized to anywhere from four to eight hours a day. Ideally, you know, what we look at is maybe six hours a day. When you first start out, that's really difficult. Uh, because of hunger pangs and, and all that, but you can get there. But we, what we recommend is maybe starting out with, um, let's say, 16 hours of fasting and eight hours of nutritional feeding to sort, start closing that insulin window. Um, you know, eight hours of that is pretty simple because you're going to be asleep. So um, if we can stop eating, let's say, three or four hours before bed and then sleep for eight hours and then... I know we've been all taught, you know, when we were when we were growing up by our moms that you've got to eat breakfast. Well, you really don't. So what we're learning now is maybe push past that, you know, drink a large glass of water, get hydrated. Um, if you need to do something, take a ketone zone. Um, but let's wait until, let's say, noon before we start taking calories in. So we lower or we close that insulin window. That intermittent fasting helps us maintain a ketogenic state. It helps decrease the chronic inflammation, uh, and it also helps minimize the growth hormone effects that we see with insulin that make it near impossible to burn fat. So what I want to do here is go through, you know, there are hundreds of articles. I just chose one. Uh, this was written in 2020 uh, by the American College of Sports Medicine, of which I'm a member. And um, I just want to uh, look at the difference between a ketotic diet, KD, um, and um, exogenous ketones. So this is what happens uh, with exogenous ketones. There are endogenous ketones that our body makes with fat metabolism, but there are exogenous ketones that we take, uh, like ketone zone. So when we look at the total um, ketone body concentration, ketone bodies are things like beta-hydroxybutyric acid, or BHB, which is what ketone zone really is, and uh, acido, uh, you know, what we call ACAC, um, that's the other ketone body, and then straight up acetone. Um, you know, acetone people think of as nail polish remover, but our bodies actually also make small amounts of acetone as ketone salts. Um, so when we look at um, how effective those things are, ketone diets can take days to weeks. You see that in the third uh, row there. It takes days to weeks to elevate the number of ketone bodies in our bloodstream that are actually effective. When we take exogenous ketones like ketone zone, we can have that same effect within minutes to hours. Now, this may not last a long time unless we are also being diligent to maintain a state of ketosis, but it helps um, get us there. So it's like um, a quick punch of ketones that's going to last uh, for several hours. So when we look at the adaptation period for uh, metabolic effects, um, we really don't know what that difference is. Um, it, both both ketone diets or ketogenic diets, as well as exogenous ketones, suppress our diets or help make us less hungry. So if you start off your day with a dose of ketone zone, um, you can skip breakfast and not get hungry because it'll help suppress that appetite. Um, when we look at glucose, you can go through all this, you know, glucose availability, lipolysis. Lipolysis basically means fat metabolism. So when we look at ketone diets or ketogenic diets, um, the fatty acids are elevated in our blood. When we use exogenous ketones, we actually have fatty acid lowering. So it basically blunts that effect, um, which is a good thing. 
this is a, a great thing here, muscle protein synthesis. We really don't know how effective um, keto or ketogenic diets are with regards to muscle protein synthesis. You're also taking exogenous proteins in as well. But look what happens with, ex with endogenous or with exogenous ketones that we're taking, like ketone zone. It increases protein synthesis. It helps build muscle. Uh, fat utilization during exercise, um, it elevates it. Uh, CHO is another term of carbohydrate utilization during exercise. It also helps burn carbohydrates more effectively. Um, lactic acid concentrations. So what we're seeing here is that exogenous ketones like ketone zone actually help with great benefit with regards to changing the chemistries of our blood, helping burn fats, helping suppress uh, free fatty acid concentrations in our blood, suppressing um, uh, appetite, building muscle, and also helping improve our exercise performance. Um, I want to go to this uh, thing here. So this is basically what we have when we're looking at uh, ketone um, and fat metabolism. So MCFA, medium chain fatty acids, these are the you know C6, C8, C10 medium chain fatty acids that we find in what product that Valora makes? What product does Valora make where we have medium chain fatty acids? Perfect start. Perfect start is an amazing supplement that goes alongside with ketone zone. It's something that I use in my coffee instead of creamers now uh, and, and many and sugars, I'll use perfect start, which has a little bit of a sweet taste to it, but it's basically medium chain fatty acids that are also used as fuel and help supplement this ketotic transformation that we're getting through ketone zone. It helps help us helps us maintain a state of ketosis. But what happens with medium chain fatty acids and free fatty acids, FFA, is it goes into this uh, oxidative pathway, um, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time with the biochemistry here, but basically showing you that go to the middle part, follow these areas, go to the middle part of the bottom, that beta-hydroxybutyric acid, BHB, which is what ketone zone is. So we're taking that in, we're putting in medium chain fatty acids on the top, and go to the right, what we're getting is this energy cycle that actually starts helping make energy. Um, ketone bodies are this BHB in the middle, at the very bottom of that middle cylinder. And also that ACAC is the other type of ketone body. And then, as I also said, um, acetone, which isn't so shown here. But basically what this does is it primes the liver to start burning fats. Fats are like, you know, I said carbohydrates are like uh, kindling that burn fast and they catch on fire quickly and they burn through very quickly. Fats actually take a long time to sort of catch fire and start getting metabolized and they sustain uh, energy production for quite a long time as well. But to get there, it takes a while. That's why it's so important to have a ketotic state in order to minimize the carbohydrates effect and improve uh, the fatty acid or the fat effect, the fat metabolism. Um, this is one thing I wanted to show with the ketosis does. Now look at this. Let's start with inflammation. Um, and a lot of this gets a little uh, technical. I'm not going to spend a lot of time getting real deep in the technicalities of it, but just the bold. Let's, let's look at the bold things. Ketosis, acidic ketosis with beta-hydroxybutyrate, and the acetylcysteine and the acetone, the ketone bodies, those are the three ketone bodies. Ketone zone, the primary one is the beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is what ketone zone provides. Remember, in nature, the enantiomers of beta-hydroxybutyrate exist, right? One that turns left, one that turns right. The only one that's really bioavailable and bioactive is the one that turns right. And that's the one that is exclusively in ketone zone. We do away with the other one and just give you the one that is actually bioactive and bioavailable. Um, and what does that do? It decreases inflammation. It increases epigenetic regulation. Basically, what that does is it just helps DNA replication. So it improves DNA synthesis and DNA replication. It decreases oxidative stress. So let me go back to a few weeks ago when I said, and I hadn't seen this before, but um, when I said the three things that we want to do in terms of improving our health is what? Decreasing inflammation, mm -hmm. decreasing oxidative stress, and improving immune system function. Well, amazing. I mean, look what ketosis does. It decreases inflammation, and it decreases oxidative stress. 
Nothing else does that just by itself. So this is amazing. It also increases hormonal regulation. So it helps with um, metabolite with, with the uh, regulation of insulin secretion. It increases skeletal muscle anabolism or building skeletal muscle and regeneration. It helps improve muscle protein synthesis, makes you stronger. It decreases skeletal muscle catabolism or breakdown of muscle. Remember also a couple of weeks ago what I said, the two things that we look at in terms of making sure that your health um, continues as you age, the two primary indicators are skeletal muscle mass and strength and VO2 max or um, basically how you utilize oxygen endurance activities. So ketone zone will help with skeletal or, or exogenous ketones will help with skeletal muscle, uh, decrease skeletal muscle breakdown. It helps adipose tissue lipolysis. That's a fancy word for it basically metabolizes fats. It burns fats. Um, glycos decreases glycosylation, decreases metabolic regulation, like gly hyperglycemia, decreases hunger, uh, improves intestinal stem cells. So we talked about, huh, and I didn't see this when I was just saying it. So it improves immune system function. Um, and then improves cardiac muscle uh, function and efficiency and effectiveness. And then, and this is something that we've studied in the military when it comes to soldiers who have been impacted by closed head injuries or IED blasts, and they come back with, um, with uh, brain injury. Ketones are actually neuroprotective. They help them get better. They help protect the brain from uh, bad effects with, uh, with, um, closed head injuries. Um, so what we're seeing is there are actually many studies now in the military that the VA is doing with regards to neuroprotective effects of ketones. And there are ketone drinks that the military is developing to help with this. So look at this. I mean, this is just amazing with the positive health benefits of exogenous ketones. And we have one of the best products in the world on the market in ketone zone in uh, this right or dextro enantiomer of beta hydroxybutyrate um, that improve that increases your ketone levels within 20 minutes or so. Um, and let's see. So I think that's it for this article. I want to go to another thing here. And I'm trying to, I have this thing on here that's not letting me see. Actually, hang on. There we go. Okay. So this is actually what happens with energy production. This is a very simplistic set, um, um, thing. The blue is the whole cell, okay? The blue is a cell. The orange is a mitochondria. The mitochondria, and of course the scale is very, is not correct, but it's just for, for benefit of the diagram here. The mitochondria is the energy producing factory in the body. And this is where all the energy is produced. Some energy is produced out in the cytoplasm or cytosol as they call it here. Um, it's primarily glucose. So if you're taking carbohydrates, it shoots off a little energy here, but you also get pyruvic acid and lactic acid. Um, but what gets pulled into the mitochondria are proteins, um, some glucose, and then also fats. The fats are the ones that are sort of the slow burning, long burning um, things that uh, create a lot of energy. And energy is ATP that releases a lot of electrons during Krebs cycle. And it's those electrons that help make energy. Um, so when it comes, I know we're running out of time. I just want to hit one other thing here. Um, and let me uh, make this a little smaller so we can see it. Um, when we talk about exercise effects, what you want to do is not just take in ketones and be ketotic. What you want to do is also exercise. But most people can't exercise. At th these are heart rate zones that we look at. Heart rate zone one, heart rate zone two, zone three, zone four, and zone five. It's not recommended that you stay in four and five very long. Those actually increase inflammatory cascades. And, uh, you know, it's okay to hit them if you're uh, an elite athlete. But, you know, for most people, we don't want to stay here. What we want really is zone one and zone two. These are the fat burning zones. Long, slow endurance type activities where you're getting your heart rate up to 70% of maximum. And what we say is 220 minus your age is your top heart rate. Take 60 to 70% of that. Uh, and that's where you want to be in zone two. That helps improve the effects of being in ketosis by burning fat 
uh, as a primary fuel. You're not going to burn fat in zones four and five. You're going to burn through a lot of glucose, a lot of glycogen in zones four and five, not fat. Where you burn your fat is in zones one and two. So when you take exogenous ketones, you exercise every day, you know, walk an hour or so, get your heart rate up a little bit. This is where you're going to start burning fat, getting healthier, reversing inflammation, decreasing insulin uh, growth hormone effect uh, and all that. So we've got some great products. Today, I want you to really uh, take hold of ketone zone and perfect start. They go hand in hand. Um, and I think they're of great benefit to anyone who is health conscious. So there we go. Okay. So I took some, I always take notes with you. Uh, one fact that you might like to hear is that the temperature where you're living right now is 103, but the number of people on the call rooms is 115. So you beat your temperature. So good for you. <laughs> That's cool. Fantastic. That's excellent. So um, uh, we stay away from claims, doctor, on weight loss, mm -hmm. primarily because um, there are some patents on this product that we're not allowed to use. But coming up from the opposite end, help me with two things real quickly. One is stored fat, and the other is consumed fat when you're using ketones. Um, wouldn't it be natural that if I'm absorbing and using and turning my energy uh, in for my body from fat, that that's going to get rid of stored fat and that's weight, that's weight loss. Is it, am I correct? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You're burning through fat. So what happens is in a high carbohydrate diet, your body is set up to take any fuel other than glucose and store it and it stores it as fat. Um, first in the liver and then in adipose tissue. What we want to do is reverse the, me the metabolism. So by reversing the metabolism, we're actually going to those fat stores of adipose tissue and utilizing that as fuel and burning through it. And if you decrease it, then you're going to lose fat. Um, so, you know, starting the liver, I don't know how many people here, you don't have to raise your hand, but a lot of people have fatty liver even though they're thin because they're eating high carbohydrate diets and their body is storing, you know, going through glucose and storing excess glucose as glycogen and then converting a lot of that into fat and storing it as fat. And it just keeps packing it away. Um, but what we want to do is reverse the metabolic cascade, decrease our glucose load, decrease our carbohydrate load, burn through the fat in the liver, and then start accessing the fat in the subcutaneous tissues that we otherwise know as adipose, adipose tissues. And if we burn through that, the size of it decreases and, if the size of it decreases, the weight of it decreases as well. And that means I can have one less belt, belt buckle notch there. So that's good stuff. So here's what I wrote down. Uh, more energy, because there's about three times as much energy in a gram of fat as there is in a gram of carbohydrates. So I'm going to have more energy. Clearer thinking. My brain loves fat for energy, and it helps me think better. Uh, and then burning through stored fat. Now, from a uh, practical standpoint, ladies and gentlemen, we're also in a business here, okay? And if we're in a business, one of our jobs is getting more customers, getting more consumers, getting more recurring repeat business. So here's the assignment, the is that we want you to take uh, these packages of ketone zone and use it this week as a sample. If I'm opening this up, Dr. Hamada, at lunch, at work, okay, and I've got my bottle of living water, now I'm promoting two products, and dump that in there and start drinking it, what are the chances, ladies and gentlemen, that somebody's not going to say, what is that? What are you taking? And for me, Dr. Hamada, to say, oh, this is unbelievable. This, and, and then talk about those three benefits, more energy, three times as much, a gram of fat, um, clearer thinking, burning up stored fat. This will make, you know, I was reading today, and then I'm going to finish up, Dr. Hamada, that uh, the, the whole subject of, of stories, and I'm going to give you guys some facts uh, next week on Robia, our training that we do on Saturdays, the, the number of stories that you mix with facts, multiply the message by many, many, many folds. So your story, ladies and gentlemen, is critical in this whole process 
of growing your consumer base. So can we get uh, 115 people to go out this week with the ketone zone packet, get your Leah Ryan forms, get your number on there right away, and come back next week with Dr. Hamada with two things, results. That means I'm getting people registered as recurring clients on the ketone zone. And then uh, number two, uh, people that you have signed up, people that you have brought, and then bringing people to the call. Dr. Amata, this is the biggest call we've done so far. We started out slow. We had about 25 people. We're now up to 115. And I can tell from the, num the, 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 the subjects of the people asking questions, which I'll get to you this week because we're out of time, um, people are loving this information. Now, let me make one final statement. I know I've got my boss, Mr. Coyle, online here. Um, I've talked to Mr. Coyle, and I've talked to Mr. Urso, and I have a level of confidence, Dr. Hamada, that um, the company is going to make the commitment needed to expand the product line, to expand the training, to expand the opportunity, and this is going to just lead to more and more air, water, laundry, pure, and all the stuff that we love to do. So thank you, Dr. Hamada, for joining us tonight. Um